So the menstrual cycle comes in four phases. So we always want to start with the bleeding phase. And this is considered day one where you have active bleeding. So your blood is moving, your yang is high. And in order for it to start and um, have enough blood, you need to have good liver chi. So liver chi is the movement in our body um, and um, the calm sensation. And the liver blood will move more smoothly. If, you, if the liver is not moving so well, that's where people get irritability, you know, they call it PMS signs for women, all these things, it leads up to that. And that's associated with the liver. Plus you want heart chi and heart blood to descend toward the uterus to help you move the blood. So that's the bleeding phase. The second phase is the post-menstrual phase where you have the blood and yin are relatively empty because you've just gotten rid of your menstrual cycle, right? Your menses is gone. And the yin is the water aspect, which is, goes along with the blood. So you've lost water and you've lost blood now. And once that's done, now you begin to build up your yin again. And by doing that, you're beginning the follicular phase, which leads to ovulation. Then the third phase is the intermenstrual phase where the yin reaches its maximum with ovulation. And after that, the yin starts to decline so that the yang can come up and get ready for um, the next phase, which is gonna come up to the bleeding phase, right? Um, and so yang starts to grow and pro produces the heat necessary for ovulation. Now the premenstrual phase, right before you uh, bleed, right? The yang grows and reaches its maximum and she moves. So this is where you'll probably most likely get the PMS signs, the irritability, the easily angry, right? All associated with the liver too.